Welcome to the Hertfordshire Community NHS Trust Pulmonary Rehab Home Exercise video. You have been assessed by your healthcare practitioner as someone who will benefit from this exercise programme and that it is safe for you to do so. However, if your health has changed recently or you feel unwell today, then contact the Pulmonary Rehab Service on 01462 478 783 or discuss your health concerns with your doctor or nurse. Before you start this exercise, please take a moment to read the safety information and guidance on the screen. Thank you. Let's start with some gentle exercises and sitting to get us warmed up and prepared. Shoulder shrugs. Let's do six of these. Raising your shoulders up and down to your ears six times. Then we move on to our backward shoulder rolls. Six of these, make the movement larger. Well done. Head rotations, gently turning your head from one side to the other. Three to the right and three to the left. Nice and gentle. Don't force the movement. Trunk rotations. Gently twisting in the chair. One side, then the other. Let's do three to one side and three to the other. Feel that stretch. Side bends, hands by your side and reaching down to the side. One way and then the other. Three to the right and three to the left. Feeling that stretch down your rib cage. Well done. Let's move on to our lower legs. So stretch out your leg in front of you, pulling your toes up towards you, and then point and flex with the toes. Six in total. And then some ankle rotations. One way, three one way, and three the other way. Before we move on to the other leg, stretch your other leg out in front, pulling the toes up towards you and point and flex. Total of six movements. And moving on to our ankle rotations. Three one way and three the other way. Well done. Another stretch for the back of the leg. Put your hands under your knees and draw your leg towards your chest. Feel the stretch down the back of your leg into your bottom. Don't hold your breath during this exercise. Breathe normally in and out the nose. Well done. Switch legs now. Fantastic. Feel the stretch. We're getting warmed up here, fantastic. Feet flat on the floor, ready for our final part of the warm-up, marching on the spot. Off we go. Well done. We're now ready for our exercise circuit. Exercise one, chest stretch. This exercise is a fairly easy one to get you started. It helps to maintain flexibility in your chest and ribcage area. It's up to you whether you do it in sitting or standing. But if you're doing it in sitting, make sure you sit well back in the chair so your back is supported. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. 
keep the palms of your hands facing forward during this exercise. You'll feel the stretch as you go back. Well done. Nice and gentle. You're halfway through. Keep going. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Exercise two, shoulder press. For this exercise, there are three options. The easiest option is demonstrated by Elaine in the red t-shirt. If you have a history of any significant heart problems, we advise that you choose this option. You can make this exercise harder by increasing the weight of the dumbbell. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Breathe normally in and out the nose during this exercise if you can. If it starts to get hard and you're feeling out of breath, breathe in through the nose and blow out through the lips. That's what we call rescue breathing. You're halfway through. Keep your posture in alignment. Well done. 10 seconds to go. And rest. Exercise three, heel raises. This exercise works the calf muscles. Hold on to something solid like the kitchen worktop for balance if you need to. You can make this exercise harder by holding a pair of dumbbells in your hands. Why not do some bicep curls at the same time as you go up and down on your tiptoes as Laura in the green t-shirt will demonstrate. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Not as easy as it looks, this exercise. As with all the exercises, try to breathe normally, in and out the nose. But if you get short of breath and you find it helpful, Use your rescue breathing, in through the nose and blow out through the lips. You're halfway through. Nice steady pace, not too fast, not too slow. That's great. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Exercise four, knee raises. This exercise will help you with your balance as well as strengthening your core tummy muscles. Only hold on to something if you really need to. Once you get the hang of this exercise, try raising your opposite arm at the same time as your knee, like Izzy in the orange t-shirt will be doing. This will really help you to improve your coordination. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one.
So don't go too quickly with this exercise. It's not actually marching on the spot. It's slow and controlled for your balance. And if you are holding on, hold on lightly if you can. Well done. You're halfway through. And if you are holding on, occasionally try and see if you can take your hand off the chair. This will really improve your balance. But feel free to pop it back if you need to. 10 seconds to go. And rest. Exercise five. Upright row. This exercise helps strengthen your shoulder and chest muscles. It probably works best if you are standing up, but can also be done in sitting. If you're doing it in sitting, you will need to sit towards the front of the chair with your feet slightly apart. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. This exercise is like pulling up a big zip, all the way to the chest and back down again, allowing your elbows to come out to the side, like little wings. You don't need to go too high if you've got a shoulder problem, however. You're halfway through. Keep breathing normally, in and out through the nose if you are able to do so. That's great. 10 seconds to go. And rest. Exercise six, squats. Now things are getting a bit harder. Hold on to the back of a chair or a table if you need to for this exercise. Make the movement small to begin with. Imagine you're sitting down onto a chair, but don't go so far down that your bottom goes below your knees. Get ready to start in five, four, three, Two, one. So Laura in the green t-shirt, she's holding some dumbbells to make this exercise slightly harder. Izzy in the orange t-shirt, sliding her hands down her thighs. And Elaine's using the chair for support. You're halfway through. Not too fast, not too slow. This is a really good exercise, strengthening the legs. Ten seconds to go. rest. Exercise 7, hamstring curls. This exercise works the backs of your legs. Hold on to a chair or a table if you need to. Do some bicep curls with or without dumbbells at the same time to make it harder. Get ready to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, one. That's great. Not too fast, not too slow. Breathing in and out the nose if you're able to. Or if you get short of breath, 
you can use your rescue breathing in through the nose and blow out through the lips. You're halfway through. Fantastic. Hold on lightly to the chair if you are using that for balance. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Exercise eight, press ups against the wall. This exercise strengthens the chest and backs of the arms. Your hands should be about shoulder height. The further away from the wall you are, the harder it will be. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Keep your body in a straight line. Take your chest towards the wall. Push back with your arms. Breathe normally, in and out the nose. Try to keep your feet flat on the floor. You're halfway. Well done. Keep going. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Exercise nine, shoulder stretch. This exercise helps to maintain flexibility in the rib cage and trunk. You can either use a walking stick or a long umbrella. And if you don't have either of those, you can clasp your hands together and it works just as well. If you're doing this exercise in sitting, make sure that you sit well back against the chair so your spine is fully supported. If you're doing it in standing, the key is to make sure that you start with your feet about 12 inches away from the wall, with your lower back pressed against the wall. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Try to keep your elbows straight. Feel the stretch at the top of the movement. Breathe normally in and out the nose. Well done. You're halfway there. Make sure you keep your back pressed against the chair or the wall if you're doing this exercise in standing. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Exercise 10, sit to stand. This is your second last exercise, so you are nearly finished. Choose a chair that you can stand up from without too much difficulty. If you need to use your hands to get up from the chair, then that's not a problem. But it's really good to try this one with your arms crossed, like Izzy's going to do. If your leg muscles are strong and you want to make this even harder, then hold a pair of dumbbells or something similar, like Laura will do. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. That's great. You can go at your own pace for this exercise. And you can stop whenever you wish, if you need to. 
Keep going if you can, though. You're halfway through. Try to control your breathing. In and out the nose, or you may need to use your rescue breathing for this one. It's quite difficult. In through the nose and blow out through the lips. 10 seconds to go. And rest. Exercise 11, step ups. This is your final exercise. For this exercise, use the bottom step of a flight of stairs or your back door step. If you don't have stairs or a step that you can use, then choose the toe tapping option like Elaine in the red t-shirt is going to do. Step up and down on and off the step. Don't forget to change your leading leg halfway through. I will let you know when. Get ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. As always, try and control your breathing in through the nose and out through the nose if you're able to do so. Or you can use your rescue breathing, particularly as this is a hard exercise. You might need to breathe in through the nose and blow out through the lips at some point. Change legs because you're halfway through. Well done. Laura's using dumbbells to make this exercise even harder. Well done, Laura. Ten seconds to go. And rest. Well done, you've now finished your exercise circuit. Take a few minutes to recover. You might want to sit down and have a drink of water. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Allow your breathing to slow down and settle. Focus on what you've achieved today. Even if you didn't manage to do all of the exercises or as much as you wanted to, your body will have benefited in so many ways. See you again next time.